Welcome, Mattes back again. Today I'm going to make a review of a down jacket called Mountain Equipment Annapurna. You see, I two of them. This is my old one and I actually bought a new one. I'm going to tell you why I choose to get a second of exactly the same jacket. This jacket has been with me for four to six years, I don't really remember, but as you see, I still use it, the blue one. You can see it in the videos from the tour this winter. My name is Matti. I'm working as a full-time guide up in northern Sweden. We do dog sled tours, hiking tours, canoe tours and so on, but you can see that more in the channel if you're checking. Today it's 30 below zero, so it's a good day to talk about clothes that give you isolation. A jacket like this, the work that jacket should do is not making you warm. The jacket should keep you warm. So what you need is good isolation from the jacket. This jacket I'm going to talk about today is Mountain Equipment Annapurna. As you can see, this is a super warm jacket, but today I still wear a puffer jacket under it. So this is another jacket you can see in our puffer jacket review in earlier video. A lot of people who do dog sled tours and snowmobile tours up here, they're using more heavy duty parkas jacket with good isolation. Some years ago, four to six years ago, Stina and I decided to get a lighter down jacket. This jacket is only 1.3 kilo. It's very light and when you pack it, it's just a small bag that you can put into your sled or whatever. You can have it in the backpack, back in the snowmobile or wherever. One thing we was worried about with this jacket is that the fabric is so sensitive so we would rip it. Uh, if you compare it to the Parkas jacket, they have usually a waterproof, very heavy uh, shell outside. The way how we use this jacket is that when we're dressing the dog team, when we're packing dogs, when we're loading up the sled, when we're loading up the snowmobile, whatever we do, then we put this away. We don't wear it if it's not super, super cold. Then we usually wear something else like this. Before we step on the sled or on the snowmobile, we take this big jacket on that should keep us warm. I have been using my mountain equipment, Annapurna, for four, five, six years. I don't really remember actually, but I've used it a lot. And I wear it when I'm feeding dogs sometimes. I wear it when I drive dog sled and snowmobile. I always wear it when it's cold. Stina bought her jacket one year before me and she still uses her same. And this is my first one that I have here on me, the blue one. Now I actually get the new one also. This, this model of mountain equipment and Apurna have existed since 40 years. I don't know if there have been some, some adjustments or something like that, but the model is 40 years old. That's quite a long time. The jacket is light, so it's really very, very nice jacket to wear. You don't get tired of your neck, you don't get tired from carry it because when you're working outside a lot, long extended times, 20 hours in a row or something like that, when it's cold, your body get tired from carry heavy clothes. This one is light and I can really recommend you to carry lightweight down jacket if you haven't tested that before. The fabric, the outlayer fabric, this is not waterproof. It should be water resistant, but you don't wear down jackets if it's raining. If it's raining, it's warm, put this away, put it in a dry bag and put it, don't use it. If it's raining, you have another jacket on the top of, of your puffer jacket or something, different clothes. So I don't want down jacket to be waterproof. I want the down jacket to give away all moisture it can give away because when you wear it and you're working you get moisture inside the jacket and it should go away transport away from the down another thing that's really important to check when you buy a down jacket and this mountain uh, equipment Annapurna have something that's called down codex they guarantee that they haven't picked the down from birds that are still alive they guarantee that you can follow and uh, tracking the down and find where the down comes from and that there is some um, good places they have taken the down from. I don't know if it's actually more better that they kill the bird first and take it. It depends on what they're doing with the bird. If you are vegetarian or vegan, down clothes is maybe 
something you should think about not using. Anyway, check always when you get down things, where does the down come from? I think that's a kind of, uh, a kind of important stuff. Down have different kind of fill power. This jacket have 700 as a fill power. Some fill power is 700, 800, 900. This is anyway warm enough for me, light enough for me. If you go to higher fill power, like 900, the price pop up, but you also get a warmer jacket if you compare to the weight. But for me, this is totally enough. The jacket have this down, down here in the arms and everywhere, over the shoulder, in the shoulder part here on the jacket, they have put another kind of filling. They have put a synthetic filling because usually down falling away from this part. So I am really happy with that because that haven't been problem on top of here, on this jacket. It's also a little bit stronger fabric over the shoulder and this part. And uh, I think that's also make the jacket living longer. I think that's good. The zipper, with the old one, I have problem that it's sometimes this fabric gets stuck into the zipper. That is something I don't like with this jacket. If I look at the new one, it is similar. So that, that will be sometimes you had to take it up and forward a few times. Down jackets like this, if you're driving a lot of snowmobile, the best jacket for snowmobile driving have zippers on the hips. If you look at Canada Ghost jackets, they have a zipper on the hip. If you don't have the zipper on the hip, the jacket usually start opening from down here when you're sitting with the legs to the side. So, but I anyway like this jacket very much. So there is a small button in the bot here that you can close, but I have problem that this bottom is opening and the jacket starts zipping up from the bottom. That don't happen if I'm walking with snowshoes, if I'm just going around. It's not happening when I'm driving dog sled either. It's only when I'm sitting with my legs on each side of a snowmobile, then that happens. And then you get cold air into the jacket and that's not super nice. If we're looking at the pockets, you have two good pockets out here. These pockets are perfect for small things. They are quite big anyway, but you can put gloves, telephones and so on there. You also have these two pockets here. They are really nice uh, and a lot of room. Some really good thing with this jacket is this net pocket. Here you can store I drop a camera lens here. I can actually drop my whole camera there sometimes. And uh, gloves. You also have another big pocket on the other side with a zipper that you can close. Also good. You can have notebooks and everything in this nice pocket. My first microphone died. I had to do some part of it again. The hoodie on the jacket is really warm. This hoodie we have changed a little bit by ourselves. It's the same with Tina Sudi, you can see on the red jacket she used. I'm not happy with the hoodie. I will show you with the new jacket here. Because I'm not happy with the hoodie. The hoodie don't protect your face from wind on the side. The hoodie should go more forward. It should be like a tube in front of your face if you want to get the real protection. If you can get the tube in front of your face, you get like an air pillow and then you don't get frostbite in your face. This jacket don't have it. I don't know how to make a solution for that. I don't know if I'm going to try to find a thinner jacket I can have in under this with that thing or if I had to try to add something on the jacket. If you are a skier, this is not the problem. If you are a skier, you don't use this jacket while you're moving. You don't use it in snowstorm. If you're a skier, you use it as an isolation jacket when you stop with the camp, in the camp, stop for lunch, sitting on the top of the mountain or whatever. 
and then you don't really need this tube then you have the tube on your uh, storm jacket for me who use it while driving dog sled or snowmobile I would love to have that tube on my hoodie it's possible to zip off the hoodie I don't really know why you should zip off the hoodie maybe if you drive snowmobile and have helmet but usually if you have a jacket like this you want even the warm hoodie so the zipper on the hoodie is for me I don't need it I they could take that away actually and make something else uh, in front of the hoodie that had been a better jacket for me actually if you're looking at the at the arms on the jacket uh, it's the kind of thing down here that close you don't get snow in you don't get wind in here uh, you can actually close it like this and pull the glove on top of this things that are not good on the jacket like this is usually things that you think about the arms and how this is constructed is actually a detail I never was thinking about it just working somehow so I think actually this is a good way of course if you put the arm in the fire you burn the jacket of course if you use it violent you destroy it so this is just natural uh, damage after four five or six years using so mountain equipment Annapurna I would say all over it's a kind of good jacket it's really lightweight it's a lot of jacket for the money you pay my jacket has started collapsing with the down but it has been soaking wet I've been using it for many years I've been pushed it into the dog sled and I haven't treated it really well I have really lived with this jacket so of course it starts collapsing after some years if you think this jacket is expensive you should see clothes as an investment don't just buy clothes buy few clothes and if you're looking into your equipment there is few things you always use and a lot of things that you never use try to find out what things do you need what things do you use and put more money into good stuff that you use instead of a little bit money into a lot of stuff I saw some investigation right now that a lot of people all over in the garderobe that you use maybe 28% of the clothes I don't really remember but most of the clothes you don't use during a year most of the clothes is just hanging there and you actually don't know that you have them more or less it's only a few part of the things in your garderobe that you actually use when you're living in Jokmok North Arctic Circle, the temperature go down to minus 48 degrees sometimes and you still have to go out working. The dog need food every day and we have people arriving and want tours. Then you need good stuff. You need good equipment. That's the reason why I choose to buy a new jacket. And this jacket started to collapse. So it was time for me to get a new jacket. I think that was all from me today. It's quite cold for my hands. I will go in now and have a cup of coffee. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up, subscribe, whatever. You find us also on Instagram, Facebook, Patreon. See you next video. Ciao.